Hi everyone, it's Mr. Vallejo. Welcome to class. Uh, today I want to show you how to present your final project, uh, whether that's the uh, PowerPoint on uh, bioethics or it's the PowerPoint on uh, California environmental issues, depending on which class you're taking. Um, uh, you might have a PowerPoint as one of your, your final projects. So uh, once you make a PowerPoint or even a Google slide deck, the question would be, well, then how do I present it? Because if I record it simply on my computer, I won't see the little box with the, uh, with the camera going on. So if, uh, if you if you need to do that and you do for this project, what you do is you use Zoom and PowerPoint or Google Slides if you choose. Um, and uh, you can also use all kinds of other uh, programs as your screencasting um, host. I, I use them, but there are others that you could certainly use. So right now you can see that I am in Zoom and recording a Zoom meeting. So what we would want to do then is go over and uh, make sure that you're recording. As you can see, possibly in the upper left-hand corner, you might get a, uh, a recording uh, button. Uh, there's a stop button, which is like a square and a pause button, which are like two rectangles. Okay, uh, what you would want to do after you get your Zoom meeting started. Now I have, I have two people in the meeting right now, but you can certainly do a Zoom meeting with just yourself. So you can log into Zoom and then start a meeting and then, uh, then you'll have a meeting going and then just record the meeting and then you'll see the box of you as a speaker in the upper right hand corner as you as you go through your powerpoints so now to get to the powerpoints you've got to go to the very bottom uh, usually is the default you can actually move this to the top also but mine is showing up at the bottom and it says it says share screen uh, in case you can't see it it is a it's a green uh, rectangle with an up arrow in it and then underneath that it says share screen so I'm going to Hit that button right there, and then I get uh, options of what I'd like to look at. So then what I got to do is I have to select the correct PowerPoint. So I'm going to hit the share button. And now you can see here's my, here's my PowerPoint, but this is, this is uh, in the, not in the presentation mode, it's in the edit mode. So what I want to do is I want to go, and I've already done this, so that's why it says this, but let me turn that off. And then what I can do is I can go to the slideshow uh, tab and then click on from the beginning. So let me do that, slideshow from beginning. And now you can see my PowerPoint from the very beginning. And now you can see this is what it would look like. Uh, I have in the upper right hand corner, I have uh, the, uh, the recording of me actually giving this talk. And then uh, I have on the larger part of the screen, I have the PowerPoint or if you're Google, using Google Slides, it'd be the same way. So then what I, all I need to do is I can click on it with my mouse to advance the slides. Or uh, what I typically do is I use the, the right arrow on the keyboard to advance the slide. You can also uh, you can also hit the space bar and that will advance your slide also. You know, that's a bigger button and you might, you might choose to do it that way instead. Um, and then you can go through your PowerPoints that way uh, as you uh, screencast. Uh, when you are totally done, you can stop the screen share. Uh, you have a choice at the very bottom in your Zoom controls. Um, it is a red, uh, it, it's a, a, a small rectangular red box 
that says stop share. So I'm going to hit that stop share button and then it goes back to this mode. Okay, and then you can finish up your final comments. And, uh, and then we, then uh, then you'll when you're done with the meeting, you press the end button, wherever that might be. Mine is a red box in the lower right hand corner. And then when you hit the end button, what it's going to do, it's going to uh, it's going to uh, save your recording either on the web or directly on your computer on your local computer. If you uh, save it to your local computer, it will be easier for you to work with it. But if you uh, save it to your Zoom uh, account, then Zoom will process it. And then Zoom will send you an email when you can uh, access it. After accessing your Zoom recording that's in the cloud, what you can then do is uh, is download it onto your computer. And so uh, now you have your Zoom meeting on your computer. Uh, if you can save that to the cloud and have the link work, then that would be one way to turn it in. Uh, if you do not have an option to do that, well, here, I'll show you. What I, wanted to, what I would want to do is, is take a recording. Let me see, I'm gonna go to documents and then I'll take a look at a Zoom recording. So I have a Zoom folder and then the default is to just do it by date. So here's something I recorded, hmm, uh, something I recorded last week. So I would go over to that. And then here is the video that is on my uh, on my hard drive, so I can click there, and then I would be able to see the video, and it is on my computer. Now, if you can save this to your Google Drive, I don't know if you can or not, but it's an MP4 file. Uh, let me see if I can do that. Oh, but I'll show you my preferred way of doing it in just a second. What I would do is I would go to, uh, I'm not sharing screens, so I'll share the screen. And once again, because you didn't see that, I will go to downloads, maybe documents, and then I will go down to my Zoom folder and pull something out. <coughs> what I did was a recording from last week. <coughs> so there it is right there. There's the folder, there's the recording, and now it's gonna to start to play. Um, <coughs> there it is right there. I don't really need, file to, and make need to do that so with you. Here, you hit file. So there it is. That's my recording and from then last you week. But um, make the copy, and that will give you your own Let's copy get out of, that. of this document. But, uh, <coughs> so I just turned that off. I can see that now I have my recording. My video is on my hard drive. But what I what, what I would like to do is put it somewhere on the internet. So I will show you, here is, a, here's, here I am at Google. Um, I am uh, using uh, Google Chrome. I go to the waffle here and select my drive. And then you can add this file <coughs> right there where it says file upload. I can take that file. Well, and then I can say file upload, and then it'll it'll say, well, what file do I want? Well, uh, I'm not going to take it from my physics class. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go to the Zoom folder. Go to the Zoom folder right here, and then take uh, that recording from last week out. That's all the way down there because of the. You can see that I have Zoom meetings from 
you know, when you look before the pandemic even, but here when the pandemic started, that's when you can see we had Zoom meetings very frequently. Uh, over here, there's my recording, and then this is my MP4 file. So I want to add that to Google, uh, to my Google Drive. And as you can see right here, it is doing it. And it says less than a minute for this MP4, which is really quite good. That's pretty fast. And uh, once it does that, what you can do is you can go to that file and share it, hopefully. I don't usually do it this way, but uh, let's see if this works. Um, alter alternately, what you can do, and this is what I usually do, when I go to uh, YouTube, And what you can do is log into your YouTube account. And right here, there's a create icon. So <coughs> a camera with a plus sign in it. And then you see as I, as I hover over it, it says create there. So I can hit the create and then upload that video into YouTube instead. So I'm gonna take that and I would hit select file. And there's that file again. So there it is. So now it's uploading to uh, to YouTube, and I'm just going to change the title. This is a, it's a Zoom meeting in one of my uh, uh, my uh, virtual classes. So, chemistry class. This was on April 28th. So there you go. And then you can like to reuse the details right there. So I would do that and not reuse that. Then maybe reuse everything else. And we'll leave that for now. I can I'll change it later. So here you can see I'm about to upload this video and it's working on that actually. It says yes, made for kids. That way you, uh, I mean, there's, there's no reason a kid couldn't make, watch this video and it, uh, yeah, it's easier to post things if you do it that way. So hit the next button. Uh, if you want to correct the subtitles yourself, you can do that, but uh, YouTube will generate the uh, subtitles as well. Um, though usually you want to go back and and look at it and uh, make any corrections you need to make. And then here's the check button. Okay, and you can see it's still processing, but it's doing a pretty good job. Hit the next button, uh, save or publish. I want to publish this publicly so that other people can search for it. And then I'm going to hit the publish button in the lower right hand corner. So right here it saves as private, but it doesn't need to be private, it's public. So hit that and there you go. So now it's still in 94 and it's still going. Uh, leave that open, let's go back to the Google Drive. And you can see it is complete over here. So let's work with this one for a moment. What you do is you can see, uh, oh, it says it's still processing. Um, and so if you have something like this, if you have an app that you already added to your Google Chrome, like I, I have a few apps here. This is Cami. This is, uh, which is like Adobe Acrobat. This is uh, Pro Proctorio, which is a test uh, proctor program right here and then uh, this button right here is is that uh, if I select that then I can see all my extensions um, this is uh, office I think and uh, what is that one? oh this is office see the same icon uh, and this one right here my calendar but if I want to see all of them as a list I could do that so you can see some my extensions are. Um, I have other extensions that aren't up here because I hardly use these, but I do use these 
uh, often enough to go ahead and pin them to my uh, top uh, bar like that. Okay, let me close that up. And so you can do it from, uh, you can upload your video from your Google Drive if you grab one of these uh, apps first and then install it into your, your uh, Google Chrome, right? Um, but like I said, my preferred way is to do it this way instead, to go through uh, YouTube Studio and create your file that way. And so I would, I'm gonna continue to do it that way. I will say that you should save your videos in multiple formats uh, if you want to keep it. Uh, your Zoom video will uh, last for a while. You usually get a reminder that says that Zoom is about to delete your file. So um, if you want to save the file, you want to save the video, what you would do is you would download it and uh, put it on you know, a, another device. For me, it's usually the hard drive of my computer. Um, I encourage you to put it in multiple places. I also have uh, another cloud storage where I put uh, uh, video lectures. And so, uh, you know, if one gets lost or you lose access to it because you switch jobs or something and you have it somewhere else, it's always good to have the, uh, the original because then you can go ahead and upload that again. Alrighty, so this one's still going, but I'm confident this will continue. And then with the one in the Google Drive, if I were to get one of these, I'm pretty sure that I could uh, uh, continue the processing and, uh, <clears throat> and be able to open the document if I had these, something like this here. I don't have any uh, uh, preference as far as, as these, these apps that you could use to uh, to open, and some of them allow you to edit the uh, uh, your your presentation. But if you would like that, then I certainly encourage you to do that. Alrighty. So, um, in short, what you would do is have your own Zoom meeting with yourself. Open up your PowerPoint or Google slide. Then you can present it uh, to yourself and it'll save. Once it saves and you close the meeting, depending on your option, depending on what you selected, you can either save it directly to your computer or to the cloud, and then you can uh, take it from your cloud to the computer. This is especially good if you have limited storage on your computer. <clears throat> Uh, I would then, uh, you know, if, once it's on your computer, you could, you could uh, save it to uh, your Google uh, your Google Drive, or if you use a, a different cloud, you could use a different cloud, or you could take it and put it um, in YouTube. Okay, so those are your options. Uh, that's how you you present uh, using Zoom and PowerPoint or Google Chrome or excuse me, Google Slides. And so I hope now you have a better idea of how to post your, uh, your, your presentation project. All righty, I'm Mr. Vallejo and thanks for coming to science class today. Have a great day.